Let's take a look at question number 12 from the TEA practice test for the computer science certification. It says to consider the following pseudocode segment with integer variables where the precondition at the beginning of the segment is missing. So here we want a precondition so that when x increases by 1 and y increases by x's new value, we get a postcondition of y equal to twice x. So which of these would be a valid precondition for this code segment above? One way to do it is just to try each choice. So let's try A. We need to make up values for y and x so that y is equal to x minus 1. So let's try x is 2 and y is 1. If we make the change to x, it becomes 3. If we make the change to y, it becomes 4. Well, 4 is not twice 3, so A does not work. So let's try B. The precondition for B is that y and x start out the same. So again, let's pick values for x and y. x is 2, y is 2. x changes to 3. y changes to 5. 5 is not twice 3, therefore B does not work. Choice D, the precondition is that y is equal to x plus 2. So whatever x is, we're going to add 2 to it to make y. So again, let's pick easy examples. Let's say that y starts out as 2 and x starts out as 0. x changes to 1. y changes to 3. 3 is not twice 1. Therefore, D does not work. So all that's left is C. C must be the right answer. Let's see why. We want a precondition to where x added to 1 makes y. So we'll try y is 2 and x is 1. That means x changes to 2. y changes to 4. 4 is indeed twice 2. Therefore, C is the correct answer. This is a process called brute force. Just plug it in and see which one works.